What's up guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Every Sunday, me and my beautiful wife here are going to be going over topics, tips, information, and things that will hopefully ignite, excite, and increase the love and your relationship every single day. So hopefully you guys can use this information that we're going to be bringing along with you guys and uh, talking about today, and it will hopefully benefit your relationship. And if you're not in a relationship right now, don't worry. All you gotta do is take all those great little tidbits that we have and store them in the back of your mind or save this video somewhere so you guys can use these tips, tricks, and information for your benefit for your future relationship to hopefully set you up for a successful one. That's what it's all about, being in a successful long-term relationship, right? Where everybody or each one of you guys is reciprocating the love back and forth. So uh, we are back actually from our 15 year anniversary. We just got back this week. Uh, we were in the Dominican Republic in Putacana. 15 years down. That's yeah, a long we, time. We needed that break. You know? That was a nice little break. Yeah. It's it, always uh, nice to have a break with just your significant other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and we've been on different anniversary trips where, you know, we brought our son on anniversary trips with us and stuff like that, which is nice spending time with everybody and, and, and doing that. And this time we brought our, you know, our service dog along with us. Sasha came. So Sasha for we technically <laughs> still had a kid with us. International right? travel. So yeah, so that was a fun experience and a different experience that we've never experienced before. And right. something that we shared on the way over there and all the good stuff. So if you have a service dog, you know what I'm talking about. And if you don't, there's some different hoops and things you gotta jump through to make sure they're taken care of so they can fly with you all the way over to wherever you're going. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, it was a good trip. And you know, it's important, one, the milestone for the anniversary, right? Right. When your relationship, you know, obviously, you know, you and your, your, your girlfriend, your fiance, your wife, you should have these little milestones where you guys should be celebrating. And that might not be like an every week thing. Like, oh, we just did 10 weeks together. Like, <laughs> okay. The month, every 28 days. Yeah, yeah every 28 yeah. days. Uh, I've seen people do months. I've seen people do years. Uh, and then I see people just forget about what they're supposed to be doing. Yeah, you guys are gonna run out of ideas, gifts, and everything else down the line. I mean, once you get past your monthly anniversary and you're in 15 years, you're gonna be like, I have no idea what to do because <laughs> I've had to give you something every month for 15 years. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it wears things down a little bit, right? And I tell everybody this, I'm like, listen, like, it, it goes for all, right? If you do too much of something to somebody, it desensitizes or lowers the value of what it is. So let me give you a couple examples here. So every day, uh, Sharice does a great job, or Art does a great job, whoever it is, and you know they constantly need, you're doing a great job today. You're doing a great job today. You're doing a great job today. Well, yeah, they might be doing a great job every single day, but when you tell them that compliment, if it's every single day, it's kind of desensitized. It's kind of like a hello, right? You say hello to somebody every day, it's just very common, it's like hello, all right, doesn't mean a big thing. But when you tell somebody, hey, listen, I love you. That is not a desensitized thing. You well, must do this. You want to do it often, but not every single time you see them, right? So if I'm walking up and down the hallway in Titan Medical Center, <laughs> not every single time where I see Sharice, I'm like, I love you. I well, love actually, you. I love you. I love okay, you. actually, I'm intervening on this portion of John's conversation, oh, okay? Oh. Because it's something we do. He just is not realizing that we do it. What's but that? on every single phone call before we hang up, right? Yeah. And it, we talk. We might talk three, four times a day, right? He might even be in the car behind me driving while I'm on the interstate and he He's behind me on another car with the dog, right? And I called him real quick to say something about the office. And it, it's really quick too. It's just like, before we hang up the phone, I was like, I love you. And you know, it's just, it's something we've done yeah. over the years. Yeah. It's just a thing we do, you know? But it's still that every time, single time I talk to you or see you. No, it's not every time you see me in the hallway. Like, on hey, the I love phone, you. that's one okay. thing, right? That's like a green green, 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 right? So yeah. I see you for lunch, I love you. Four times a day is okay. <laughs> but when you go, when you talk a lot, I say 20, 30, 40, 50 times. Like that's that's a lot. Right? It's just, yeah. It is what it is. Um, but it's important to do, right? It's important to, to communicate. That's a one thing for us. In all these different situation scenarios and stuff like that. The other thing is, is that when you're celebrating these anniversaries, um, you know, you really got to put some thought to into it, especially the more you go through. Because mm. the first couple of anniversaries, I mean, it's pretty easy, easy right? <laughs> 
<laughs> first years, uh, first, you know. Couple roses, chocolates. Because, I mean, ultimately, like, if you're in a relationship, you're going to deal with a couple different times in the year where it's like relationship holidays, so let's call them. Yeah. Valentine's, Valentine's Day, Day. That's one. Um, birthday, that's almost like another one, right? That you're going to celebrate together. And then your anniversary. So these are big things that you should probably focus in on. I know there's like sweetest day and like all this stuff, but let's just focus on a couple major ones. Yeah, I think Walgreens, CVS, you guys are getting enough The money, Hallmark, okay? yeah, the Hallmark guys, holidays. Hallmark, you guys are banking. Yeah, Stop yeah. making up holidays just yeah. to get cards. Yeah, so the sweetest day and all that good stuff, listen, it is what it is. <laughs> but just, you know, focus on a couple of those different days and make them, make them stand out. And one way or the other, you can make them stand out. Even if you don't have a whole bunch of money, you could write maybe a poem or whatever it is. I mean, hint, hint, you could probably go on chat GPT and say, write a love poem for my wife, my girlfriend, whatever it is. Oh my God, please don't do that, guys. Just Listen. Please, please put some thought into I'm, it. I, I'm, not, I'm not saying don't put thought in it. So don't, don't say it. But there's some guys out there that they're not very creative in that light, right? They're not romantically creative and they don't know what to do and they stumble. They have a general idea. They have what they feel about you, right? I love her because of this, she's this, she's that, all those good things. So you can put those things in chat GPT and then you know have something pop out where it's going to stand out to her. Now these are just words. These aren't your actions. That's only one part of it. So you can't just go into chat GPT and cheat the whole, the whole romantic thing out. You actually have to have some action behind it. That's setting something up, whether it's a, a bath with roses. So in the Dominican in the last couple of years, that's what I've done. I've had roses set up going from you know the bedroom into the bathroom to this huge tub. So awesome. Where there's candle lights and the whole nine. This is nice to do, right? You guys can spend time in the bathtub, talking, kissing, whatever you want to do. But that's bonding time too, that's special time. Mm -hmm. You're not really gonna have your cell phone in there either, right? I would hope not. Anyway. So at that point, no TVs around, no it's no distractions. It's just you and her or him and you or him and him. Um, enjoying each other's whatever time, <laughs> whatever it is, I don't care. You know, at that point, you guys are enjoying each other's time and uh, you guys are making more memories. And different things down the line, you can take trips, right? And you guys can go see somewhere exotic where you guys are at or go somewhere in the mountains or whatever you like or she likes. And you guys can enjoy each other's time and you guys can really like kind of get away from everything. The whole point is to enjoy each other's time and then take those windows to kind of like reminisce about what's happened over the last 15 years. Like, hey, remember that one time? And oh my gosh, you remember that one time we did this? And you know, or just ask random questions. Just, it, it, it allows you guys to have conversation, right? Because yeah. con you're constantly on your phone or you're constantly working or you're constantly doing something. Maybe you're doing laundry, dishes, whatever it might be. And you're not really having that one-on-one -on -one time where you can reminisce and be like, hey, how did we get here? You know, like, I can't believe we made it to 15 years. That's crazy. It's That's a crazy. decade and a half. Yeah, it's crazy. That's nuts. Well, the also thing that you guys can look at is like, all right, like if you've been here 15 years, 20 years, whatever it is, you can look back or you guys can talk about, hey, like, do you remember what we did for our first anniversary? Do you remember how we used to celebrate? And then you guys can kind of go into that and it brings back usually good memories. I mean, as long as you're on point. And it should be within your first year. You guys should be in the honeymoon phase anyway. You should be, yeah. So at that point, like, it should bring up good memories of what you guys did. And, you know, if you guys have had any bad days on your big days, per se, try to let those things go. Right. Um, I know it's not easy to do and stuff like that to just forget about things. But if you're forgiving in that light and you guys want to move forward, it, you guys got to get over that hump. It's got to be there. Um, at that point, you guys got to be, you know, reciprocated with the love that you guys are showing your partner. So Maybe John will be nice enough to share the video on the show of the, I believe it was 98 roses that oh, he got me oh, this yeah. year, yeah. which was really, really cool. Yeah. It was like really, really big. The funny part about this whole story, right, is that I was obviously I'm not expecting anything at the office and we had just, well, not we actually, there was a nice guy named Art that was nice enough to clean out this big room for us, right? So he did this and it was so nice and clean. And so there was this big box in there, right? And it was just sitting there. And I asked the staff, I'm like, guys, we just got the room cleaned out. Like, what is your problem, right? What is the deal? And I literally went to go kick the box. I know. I went to go kick the box and then it pops open, right? And it's like, it's from Venus LaFleur. And I'm like, oh! And then I'm like, oh my goodness. Uh, somebody go get John. <laughs> yeah. Nobody told him it came. <laughs> what else is new here? <laughs> 
I never go around packing food or something. I know, else. right? But it was it was a cute little funny story. Yeah, so. definitely cute. And that's another thing, right? And there's other things that you can get out there. You can get roses, you can get cars, plush animals. There's even like the, the cards in the boxes now where you can send where things pop out. Yeah. So those are cool too. And they'll keep get creative. You know, they'll keep your partner on their toes, and that's something to remember, right? You probably never received that from somebody. So you know, try to think outside the box or think about what your partner likes, and kind of customize a gift around that. I know Sharice does a really good job with like the personalized gifts now. It's so, like personalized gifts. So, like she makes like a blanket with like a montage of different photos of us, or you know, she made this awesome picture this year for a 15 year anniversary, which had you know one of our older pictures in the background from like. <laughs> That's literally when we first met. The hell it was. Yeah. And um, and it has a newer picture like right underneath it. So you see where we were and how young we really looked back then. And, you know, now and, you know, how good we look now. So. Yeah. Well, I think we look better, I actually. Right? I think we, we look, look now. I think we look better now. Just joking. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it, it's definitely cool. And, like things like that, like really, you know, and they stick with you and you can keep them. And it's a great memory to have. Right. And it, it makes you remember maybe those old times too as well when things weren't really good and hopefully they're really good now and if they're not look back to the past and say listen what were we doing then and let's apply some of this stuff to the future right because it's really good stuff that you know probably happens so you know make sure you guys are enjoying yours us on our vacation we pretty much just hung out all day no schedule hey, everybody asked us what did we do did you guys go to see some shows did you guys do this do that yeah. i'm like man you know what i just like i just laid there and i did like nothing and just enjoyed my time with John. Yeah, it was fun. It was amazing. Yeah, it was good. Amazing. Definitely good times. Definitely good times. That's great. And then when you guys get there, you guys can you know, plan dates or whatever it is. You guys can do this, do it for yourself, do it for your partner. You guys will enjoy the time together and make sure you're setting that time aside because it's really important for you and your relationship. So guys, this is another Cupid's Corner from me and my beautiful wife, Sharice. We're here with you guys every Sunday at 11 a.m. If you guys can't watch us live, you guys can always DVR it. Or if you missed it like that too, or you're not in the area, don't worry. You guys can go right over to YouTube, type in Titan Medical Center, and you guys are going to see this show and all the other cool Cupid Corners and all the other content that we produce. So go over to YouTube, press the all notification button, hit the subscribe button. And uh, if you guys aren't following us on social medias, why not? We have such cool content. Go over to Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, even TikTok, and you guys will see some really, really awesome content and maybe learn something for yourself to help you guys age gracefully and feel your best, look your best, and perform your best every single day. And this is why we look so good at 85. Titan Therapies, baby. Hey, hey. So we'll see you guys next week for another Keep It's Corner for great information to help you and your relationship. See you then.